what's good everybody and welcome back to the channel right now today i am in daytona beach florida and i'm here because daytona no longer has a beach line and that's kind of crazy because this is the world famous beach so we're about to see what happened to the coastline why it's no longer a beach here so if this is your first time tuning into the channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with all the vlogs that i post now let's go check out daytona beach Right now I am in Daytona Beach and what I'm doing here in Daytona Beach today is the shoreline is gone. Daytona no longer have a beach. I've been seeing them posters all over the internet so I was like I need to come check out Daytona to see what's going on. Last time I was here it was like before the hurricane. This was the hot spot right here. Cars used to drive up and down the shoreline all the way out. Now the water has come in. Last time I was here, right, my brother was DJing right behind me over that balcony there, and it was having just a regular Saturday music, food, entertainment right here at the uh, hotel. Also, in front of me, you will see all the people out just enjoying the sun, tents everywhere, chairs, kids playing, and now. It's all gone. Daytona 200, this monument was presented to the city of Daytona Beach by the people and companies listed below to preserve the memories of the motorcycle racing Beach and South Atlantic Avenue, nine miles south of this point. This is where they hold all the concerts and stuff at, right here on Daytona Beach.
guys, this even caved in. I'm about to take you guys into certain parts of Daytona what got hit bad by the storm and some of these neighborhoods was covered five feet in water and a lot of these people will have to move is it right here is a community that was hit bad from the storm all this was up under water at least I say in these buildings here, it was like two feet up inside the homes. Um, the ones that are flat on ground, like these government apartments that I'm about to show you guys, all this was up under water. So people had to move out of their government assistant apartments because it got flooded all the way up to the window parts right there all this was flooded so if you look at it right here is you can see they have u-haul trucks out here and all because the people have to move because a lot of people lost their belongings lost everything in the flood and we're going to see what the governor of the state of florida do about this because fema told everyone who live in these projects that they have to move and a lot of these people may not have nowhere to go so what FEMA do is probably put them up in hotels get them a voucher to move to find somewhere else to live but if they're living in government assistant apartments where can they find to go that is already this is already cheap for them so where can they find somewhere we live in Florida way rent is expensive so this have devastated this community just look at it no one is here and if you see people who are here they are moving out or getting their stuff to move out because they have to go this place is a dead town right here and this area here got hit the worst um even homes cross the street on this side right here i'm gonna show you this show you all this let me show you all this let me so bad that they told these people they 